Chen CCTV's Han Bin, consultant and expert for an explanation of China's position from his decades of research. Studying and collecting the historical evidence of Chinese sovereignty over the islands in the South China Sea. This has been the focus of Professor Wu Shicun's work for two decades. The deeper he goes, the more he believes that China needs to present its claims clearly and publicly. The U-shaped line, or the nine dash line, is a line of ownership of the features and historical waters. It indicates China's claim of sovereignty over all the islands and reefs within the line, and China's historical rights in fishing, navigation, and exploitation in the South China Sea. This Chinese map was drawn by the Ministry of Interior of the Republic of China in 1946. The eight dashes mark what's known as China's traditional maritime boundary line. And this textbook, published in 1936, marks the island groups within China's domain and China's southernmost boundary at Zengmu Ansha, known as James Shoal in the west, at four degrees north latitude. Wu Shicun stresses that China was the first country to discover and name these island groups. The history of continuous use and exercise of authority spans over 2,000 years. This map identifies some island groups as Wanli Changsha, literally meaning long sandy banks tens of thousands of miles afar. They are marked as the territory of the Ming Dynasty. The institute has collected some rarely seen historical documents which trace a period of history which is not well known. Wu Shicun says no other country can provide more definitive evidence to support a claim. But today, the stakes are much higher. Due to various reasons, such as the implementation of the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, the pursuit for marine resources, and the increasing U.S. pivot to Asia, the South China Sea disputes have developed from the original disputes over islands and surrounding waters to a geopolitical contest of politics and interests, resource exploitation and navigation control, involving both the claimant and non-claimant states within this region and far beyond. Wu Shicun believes that handling the South China Sea disputes requires prudence and the eventual resolution will take a very long time. He says the only choice for all the claimant states is to put aside their disputes and agree to common exploitation through dialogue and cooperation. The background of the South China Sea disputes is very complex and that's why mapping the differences and their historical basis is vital in the analysis of the situation in the region. And these documents may provide the context in which the current tensions are unfolding. Han Bin, CCTV.